Hi everyone, this is just a quick video to show you around our PYB000 Blackboard site. I'm going to try and show you all the important stuff in 5 minutes or less. When you come into the site, you should get to this learning resources uh, page. And if you go right down the bottom, we'll start there, you've got your lecture recordings. If you click on that, you'll see that there's already week 1, week 2, week 3. Uh, then above that is a space where I paste a little bit of fun stuff. We're not using the course materials database at the moment, so don't worry too much about that one. And then there's your program with lots of clickable areas, all highlighted, or sorry, all in dark blue and underlined, that you should explore as we go through the weeks. I haven't quite got to week four yet, but it will be up soon. Uh, week two was one that people had a little bit of problems with because it was picture based. So this is an image map, and it basically is like a text menu, but instead it's a picture. So anything that looks a little bit different or is, seems to be standing out, like wiki, lecture notes and the task, they're all clickable areas. So if you click on lecture notes, you'll find your lecture notes. If you go back to that page and click on task, you'll find your task material for that week. Uh, and also, you'll normally, you normally should expect that I'll pose some questions for the class wiki somewhere in each week. So that's how week two works. I'll just show you as well, uh, going back up to our learning resources page. Oops, sometimes it takes a second to load. In week one, there was a professional pathways activity. And most people said that they had gone through this scenario, but a few questions to Shari just made me wonder if everyone had been able to use it properly. So if we click on professional pathways, we won't be able to see the whole thing. But when you click on it, you'll get a little notice saying it's downloading. Here's one I've prepared earlier, so I'm going to open it. It's a PowerPoint presentation, but it has clickable areas inside of it. So, oops, come on. Let's open. Sometimes you just need to do it twice for it to open. Uh, there we go. Lovely. And so, on this particular professional pathway, there's next buttons that you should click. You see a diagram that shows that the PhD program actually doesn't get you to be a registered psychologist. It's just a professional doctorate or the master's by coursework or the registered supervised practice program. So have a good look at this diagram. Go through the material because if I click on PhD, it's got a few questions about whether a PhD uh, gives, makes me a psychologist. And so if I click B, I find out that it, it doesn't in fact. So I'll end that and let's go back to our website. Okay, so that's one of the first areas. The learning resources has a lot of relevant information for you. Well, a couple of the other areas that you should look at is also assessment. So if you click on assessment, you've got um, some information about how assessment is done at QUT. It's really important. Uh, in a few weeks' time, you really need to know about Assessment Minder. It's an office that collects your assignments and I'll explain more in the lecture but there is some information already online for you. So have a look at that. Then we have each of our marking sheets. So for the professional reflections due on the 9th of May, there's a marking sheet and there's the questions that you need to answer with their word counts. There's three of them, they're 300 words each and so that means there's a total of 900 words. Then there's also your group presentation marking sheet and we'll talk about that in this class next week, and your workshop CRA, which is for the last four tutorial classes. Okay, so once you've gone through all the assessment material and you've checked your learning resources for the week, you should also um, make sure you know how to contact us. If you click on the Contact Us button, you'll see my details, and Kelly's also added her email. Because she's only on site when she's teaching, this is the best way to contact her because she has um, another job to go to and so she'll answer her, your emails as fast as she can. The other one is to look at collaboration. So if you click on collaboration, this is what you'll see. We're using the wiki tool a lot and soon I'm going to talk to you about Illuminate Live. So let's go to the wiki tool first. Click on that one. You'll see lots of different links and I'll post a separate video about how to use the wiki soon. Thanks guys.